Whoa, turtle actually updated. My name is Ashley and these are turtle thoughts. Hello and welcome to Turtle's Thoughts. I am Turtle, and this is a show giving you insight on my thoughts on everyday news. Now before I begin with the stories, I would just like to take this moment to honor modern American society. Oh, damn it. Shit, shove it! Got to give me some time to give me some nerve to judge! <laughs> there was a lot of talk about recent suicides, but since this isn't a negative show, I'm not going to cover it. Moving on. David Letterman received death threats from some type of Al-Qaeda related group for basically doing the slit throat thing on TV. I'll just never understand why people like hate on other people. Why do you hate on me? Leave it down in the comments below. Now this news is a little old, um, but it's in my script so I'm going to read it anyway. London riots have spread and looters are making money off of eBay. I'm not entirely sure when the UK became America, but more than 1,000 people have been charged. I do think it's kind of hilarious that they would wear ski masks. In lighter news, crude oil prices have come down, which means uh, gas is going to go down as well. Yay, shitty economy! I wonder how the economy got turned into shit anyway. 400 new words have been added to the Oxford Dictionary, some of them including woot, jeggings, and mankini. But the one that gets me the most is retweet because it only relates to Twitter. I mean, you're not gonna go tell someone to retweet a message that you say in front of your in-laws to other in-laws or whatever in a person, are you? I mean, unless you're into that kind of thing. Texas, I wanna talk to you. I'm not big on politics at all, but after the last Bush took office, our economy was fucked. He couldn't speak and didn't appear very intelligent at all to me. But I mean, that's just my opinion. This is Turtle's thought. The other day, Rick Perry, another Republican from Texas, in the very same accent, said this. I don't know what y'all would do to them in Iowa, but we, we would treat them pretty ugly down in Texas. Again, I'm not big on politics at all, and Obama isn't very much better. I mean, he's even on a three-day bus tour paid by the taxpayers. Hmm, think about that, yeah. But I really don't think Perry knows what he's getting himself into. Facebook is removing prison inmates' pages because they're apparently using it to still cause crime in real life. I don't know about all that, but as long as I don't filter YouTube, I'm perfectly fine with it. Selena Gomez and her parents found 17-year-old Christina Grimmie on YouTube and are now managing her on her tour with Selena Gomez and the scene. Guess where Justin Bieber got his start? So those of you that are watching this right now and you have some sort of talent, you know, get up off of your ass, start making YouTube videos. You might become famous. You never know who's watching. I mean, it could be her. So I've been working all day, rehearsing, figuring out what we're going to do, and um, they have given me no food. And if you see the way I eat, I like junk food, and all they gave me was an apple. That's what I'm eating. I got an apple. And it doesn't taste good. Lollapalooza 2011 happened in Chicago, Illinois. It amazed me how many people kept partying in the rain. I'm definitely going to try to go next year. Someone please send me tickets. Speaking of stages and outside performances, um, the Indiana State Fair stage collapsed right before Sugar Land was supposed to go on, killing actually six people now um, and injuring, you know, dozens. It honestly looked like a tornado was about to form. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, Sugar Land asked for a moment of silence. And then halfway across the world in Belgium, three concert structures also collapsed, killing about five people. My thoughts and prayers go out to you. In lighter news, Anne Hathaway deals with paparazzi like this. Yo, I'm a paparazzi. I don't play no Yahtzee. I go pop, 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 pop. My camera's up your crotch. See, I tell the truth from what I see and sell it to Perez Hilti. Don't call me scuzzy, making money. That's my job, celeb photography. What? Hell no, I'm not needy. I'm legit, not stockerazzi. Don't act so hotsy totsy, bitch. I know that you from Jersey. Pop, 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 pop. Scream all you want won't make me stop. Pop, 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 pop. pop. I know you love to feel my pop. She claims to be channeling Lil Wayne here. I don't know. I think she just may have a career in rap. Seriously, how many white girl rappers do you know? Most of them just shake their booty on YouTube. As much as I hate Jersey Shore, Abercrombie, being the flagship of douchebaggery, is offering to pay Mike the situation not to wear their clothes. They're also offering to pay other members of the cast not to wear their clothes as well. Um, right after that happened, their stock dropped, I think it was 8.7%. Uh, points or percentage. I'm not really sure. I'm not really, you know, into stock. Also, last year they were selling GTL shirts. 
Pauly D actually posted that on his Twitter. I'm not entirely sure why any business or person would pay another person or business to basically keep their mouth shut or not wear, you know, certain things. Unless we're talking about a politician and a hooker, and we all know that's never happened. So Taylor Swift had a wardrobe malfunction on stage. But calm down, pervs, nothing was shown except for a little bit of booty. But that's not the real story here. Check out those Spanx! I ain't seen nothing like that in about 40 years. And I wasn't even alive then. Speaking of mishaps on stage... If you couldn't make that out, that was Kanye West falling down to his performance of All of the Lights. I'm guessing the stage felt the same way about him that George Bush did. Within the past few weeks, Teen Choice Awards aired. But I'm not going to cover it. Speaking of sexy, Victoria's Secret has launched their Sexy Little Bride campaign, which includes mesh panties, a mini train, and a bunch of other white shit that screams, Hey, marry me, bitch! And who better to kick it off than Lily Aldridge, who is a newlywed as of May. Also, after having a baby in January, Miranda Kerr is back. I'm sure this will make my girlfriend extremely happy. No, really, she's a huge fan. That's about it for today's episode of Turtle's Thoughts. Be sure to subscribe to this channel on YouTube, like the video, and check back often for more news, movie reviews, and other videos as well. A special thanks is going out to Ashley for making the intro to this video. If you would like to make an intro saying your name and these are Turtle's Thoughts, send me a message. It may be in my next video. But for now, I must leave you with a video of the day, which is this. Switching on my style like the Beatles with my pieces. Each is such a wonder with a plethora of features. It's pathetically predictable. You're thinking you'll make mining through the trisyllabic meter and some ghetto muppet creatures. Thanks for watching this episode of Turtle Salts, and I will see you next time. My favorite shirt. Hey now. Turn everybody on YouTube on. Everybody in PT. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>